Scythians. Beautiful early spring flowering plants, also known as star flower because of the beautiful star shape of the actual flower itself. Some of them are uniflorum, that is this group over here, and then the other forms are just named hybrids. And they are brilliant. The only thing that a lot of people dislike about them is the fact that the foliage, or if you push your hand over the top of them, they smell a bit like garlic. But that is not a problem. They are fantastic clump forming, maybe spreading slowly in a free draining area in full sun, and they are summer deciduous. So remember, they put on their foliage, October, November time, then they start to come into flower, and that is usually at the early part of the spring. So they can be in flower as early as late January, but most of the time it is mid-February, right the way through to March. And then as soon as they finish, you'll start to see the leaf going a little bit yellow, the flowers all die, and they die back down under ground level and won't reappear until the following late autumn into the early winter. We have three Iphian uniflorum types. We've got this beautiful purple one here, which is Froil Mill. We've got this amazing lilac-y purple one here with incredible stripes up the back of the petals here. And that one is one of our own, that is Hardy's Hybrid. And then we have this one, which hasn't yet come into flower. That is how much later into flower this one is than the other varieties. And this is Alberto Costello. Beautiful, much taller than the previous two. So if you look at Hardy's hybrid about this height, Alberto Costello will be here. So you get stepped heights of where the flower are. Alberto Costello's flower is also much larger and it is a beautiful cream. So Iphian, Froil Mill, is one of the earliest to come into flower. It can be in flower in November, December time. It's really, really good and it will go in shade as well as sun. So it's quite good underneath things like privet hedges and that sort of area where you can't get anything else to grow. This one probably smells a little bit more strongly of onion and doesn't have a nice perfume either, but it's a good, strong color. You can see that lovely starry color on there. Now, this one, the Hardy's Hybrid, which is slightly taller, has a beautiful perfume, really, really beautiful. And we think it was a cross between the Iffy and Froil Mill and a very early flowering form of Alberto Costello so to get this beautiful perfume into there. So it's got a lovely sweet honey scent and a gorgeous colour. Um, all of these got very fine, thin, strappy foliage. Alberto Costello is lovely. It is one of my favourites. Doesn't flower until the end of February, coming into March and then still in flower, probably as you get into April. And sweetest, sweetest smell on the flowers. Really, really gorgeous. That's a fabulous one. So those ones are the uniflorum types. Very narrow, strappy leaf on those ones. And then you get this one, which looks completely different. So if you look at the structure of the leaf and how the flowers are, on the Hardy's Hybrid to this one, which is Rolf Feidler, you can see the foliage is completely different. Its foliage is strap-like again, it's broader, but it goes out flat. It doesn't come up and then bend over. The flowers are also a different shape. So if I was to put it there, you can see that the ends of the flowers are really rounded. The petals are really close together and overlapping. Whereas when you look at these ones on the normal uniflorum types, you can see very much more starry, much more pointed ends and open flowered on those. So Rolf Feidler is completely different and it's a lovely form, much lower growing and look at that beautiful blue colour of it. All of these, as I said, once they finish flowering, they go die back down. If you want to divide them, divide them just before they are finishing flowering and before you lose all the foliage so that you, you're actually able to find the bulbils at the bottom there. And don't divide them into individual pieces because it takes rather a long time for those to actually then bulk up. So make sure if you were going to 
say divide this little plant here you would divide it like that and just split it in half or if you've got some of these like this again it's only into half so that you would only be taking that amount off and leaving that amount in situ and then just move them around the place brilliant early flowering for sunny gravel gardens, for places which are sunny, maybe underneath hedges in that sort of area where it's dry and free draining. Hopefully that will give you something of a different early flowering interest for your gardens. If you've enjoyed these videos, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are trying to put on information once a week, so there will be something for you to be able to see. We love comments back as well. And also just remember there is a notification button and you can be notified when our videos are released.